We are back now with the small burns. Who's in the small burns? Ooh, White Tiger's not there anymore. White Tiger should be in Jason's room. My bad. Uh, let's just start with who has horses for us. Uh, John Bootchain has uh, Blue Bayou Dio and Unbeatable Kemp are both in uh, John Bootchain's barn. I will be watching with bated breath tomorrow as they race in Kentucky. Tim Dickey is cruising in style. He's racing pretty good. Pretty good summer for us. We'll see what the fall brings for him. Steve Boston's Timel Houdini looks really, really good. Continues to race good for us uh, there. Oh, i got to get off somewhere up here. U.S. 30 East. Okay. Carmen Asiello, uh, a good mile from where we welcomed last week. She's back in to go Mohawk this week. She is on on gate for sale, and she will likely be sold this coming week. And then Ron Burke, I was so happy to have the conversation with Ron Burke the other day where he told me the exact same thing I was thinking. You know, they got to stop putting this horse on the front. No more front end for globe trotting. He thinks he's going to race her in the Meadowlands with strict instructions. Float, sit, don't move her till the head of the lane. I like it. Pretty simple. Very easy. Anybody can remember that. So we'll see what happens, but very happy with what I heard from Ron Burke this week in regards to Global Trade. 